I'm not mad at myself, y'all. Like, I did this. I don't need no makeup artist. I am the makeup artist. I am the hairdresser. I am the stylist. Relationship goals. Yeah. I love niggas. I had love for they meet me well. They, me they well. praise the niggas. I had Welcome back to my channel. Today I will be doing a get ready with me with y'all. So if you would like to see how I got this look right here, my outfit and everything, just go ahead and keep on watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel while you're at it. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I am Monet and today I will be doing a get ready with me with y'all. So today a little backstory. I will be, it is my grandma's 79th birthday so I'm about to get ready. Um, so today we're going to be getting our nails done, we're going to go out to eat, we're going to go to movies, the whole shebang. So yeah, I wanted to get cute today. Um, I don't know if I'm going to take any pictures or whatever. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the channel so you guys can keep on seeing my videos and join the battle game so you can become part of the family. And yeah, let's go ahead and get right into the video because I'm about to get this makeup on and pop it in this period. So today I will be doing my hair, my make, well, not doing my hair, I have braids, but still I'm going to do a style on my hair, um, just to do something with it. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do right now, but I'm doing my hair, my makeup, and my outfit. So you guys will see what outfit I decide to put on, um closer to the end of this video so keep on watching to see that well you probably see it you probably saw it in the picture that I put up on the thumbnail but still that doesn't matter keep watching <laughs> but um so right now I am putting on my primer um like you guys know I use the Fenty Beauty primer the um, hydrating silk it is my favorite and I'm just going to go ahead and start putting on my foundation. You guys know I use the NARS foundation. This is in the color Cuba. Yeah, for the most part, I just kind of dip my finger in it and put it on. And then I go in with my concealer and conceal the spots that I feel like are a little too dark for the um, makeup to cover. Just because my makeup is not full coverage. But that is not a problem. We can fix all things. Alright guys, so like I told you, it is my grandma's birthday. And I actually need to wet this beauty blender. But um, it's my grandma's birthday. She is 79 today. And like y'all know, that's an age that a lot of people don't get to reach. So it's really crazy that my grandma's even 79. She's still walking around. She's still talking. She's still doing everything that she used to do when she was 50 so i mean hey as long as she as long as she good we good but um also i wanted to talk to you guys about my 22nd birthday is coming up i'm so excited i actually want to do like a mini photo shoot for that just to kind of get my get, like get out of the box or just to kind of like change up what I've been doing um social media wise um I really want to do like a pop out um like a transform I'm 22 type vibe even though we know that you know just because you turn 22 don't mean you like you really got any older mentally yes you got older but physically no probably not until I'm 30 but yeah it's a while from now <laughs> so, so you guys I actually don't have that much time like uh, that much time to get ready so, I'm not going to do too much talking in this video. I'm pretty sure y'all will probably enjoy that. Probably because y'all feel like I do too much talking, but you know. You know what you know. So, I'm going to go in with my concealer and just conceal the spots that I do not like. And then I'm going to go back over with a little foundation to blend it out. Doing things a little different today I am going to be still go in with my concealer but I think while my eyes like sit a little I'm not gonna let it sit that long just because I don't like when this stuff dry this stuff the Fenty uh, concealer this stuff dry fast y'all like I don't know if I like that 
So I'm just gonna go ahead and conceal all the parts that I want. I mean, highlight or whatever, all the parts that I want. Mmm, what else? Oh, here. And get all around our nose. A little bit on the side of our nose, too. Just because I want my nose to disappear today. You don't want to be snatched. Snatched. So, um, yeah, this is as much as I'm concealing today. I don't want to over... <sighs> Sorry, y'all. I don't want to overdo it. Anyway, I just put my phone on Do Not Disturb. So, whilst my concealer sits a little, I'm going to go ahead and go in with my contour and I have decided like I, I started putting my contour a little bit higher up just because when I blend it out it's gonna go, it's gonna move a little bit but I'm going to um I'm going to look around it a little better than I have been and I went ahead and did my under my chin if y'all hadn't heard what I told y'all before doing under your chin really chills out your um jawline and things like that i'm also gonna go in a little bit on my forehead just a little bit it's already dark so you can't really tell the difference oh and i need to put some here and i need to go ahead and do my eyebrows before i blend out the contour i'm gonna go on top of my nose right here nose while you snatch all right so we can go ahead and start blending out our concealer just to get it out the way because we have other things to do so yeah i'm gonna try something different i want to try something different because i have my everyday makeup but you know, sometimes you just got to step out of the box and do something different. Like, it's okay to do something different every now and then. But, you know, you just got to perfect it. That's the only way you can perfect it is by trying in it. So, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Try something. And hopefully you guys actually like it. Because I'm going to try my best to do different things. Even though I'm not a makeup guru. But, I really just want to, you know, do something, if that makes sense. <laughs> I'm about to go ahead and start blending out this contour. So while my eyebrows sit, I am going to go in and do, I mean, while my face sits, I'm going to, I'm going to go in and do my eyebrows. So I'm about to do some fluffy brows today, just because I always do normal brows. So instead, I'm going to do the fluffy brow effect. Uh, I'm going to be using my Got To Be um, Styling Gel to hold my eyebrows in place. I'm not using too much, just enough on my finger so that I can apply it to my brows because you do not want it to look crusty or anything like that. And I'm gonna go in and start brushing up so that I can shape them before it dries. brows i'm gonna go ahead and let me zoom this in a little bit i'm gonna go ahead and underline them i'm also gonna go through and you know add some hairs to them just to make them look fuller 
I want a thick full brow look. And then we're gonna clean this up with some, oh shoot. We're gonna clean this up with some concealer. I don't know why my pencil acting up right now. My eyebrows never look the same, y'all. Like, But I'm gonna go through and add some hairs. I just like how my eyebrows look when they look very thick and fluffy and bushy and whatever else word we can use to describe eyebrows. So this is how my brows are looking right now. We're about to go in and conceal underneath just to kind of clean them up a little bit because um, they want them to look very um, chiseled underneath. I never like my brows to just look, you know, you can't just be done with your brows like after you put the um after you put the powder or whatever you use on there. So I'm going in underlining, trying not to dig too far underneath my brows. go ahead and blend out this contour it has been sitting there for the longest hopefully it is not stuck right there where it was but yeah I'm gonna blend it out just so we can start dusting away this other powder because it has been sitting there for at least 10 minutes I think so I'm gonna go in with my um, I believe this is a, it's not, it starts with a B. I cannot think of the name right now. But it's a really good brush to dust away powder with. It's not a powder brush, but it doesn't matter. You can use any brush to brush away powder. We're gonna go into bronzer. I'm gonna take this kind of rustic color here, just a little bit, just, I don't wanna put too much. I'm just gonna go up, just to give my face some color, some dimension. And I'm just gonna put a little, oh shoot. I'm gonna put a little bit up here too. Y'all see that? It's blue. Why is my camera blurry? Okay, yeah, y'all see that. It has like a little glitter to it. So like, yeah, it gives me a little um, highlight as well. And I really like that. Mm -hmm. well, I'm also gonna use some um, blush. So even if I didn't get a lot of color with my bronzer, I'm still gonna get some with my blush because I never leave the house without blush. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put some on. Let's go over here. I really need to um, invest. This is not the brush I wanna use. Oh well. This is not the, I mean, I need to invest in some more blush just because I always use this blush and I really want another color. But I feel like the best way for me to put this on is when I smile, just because I no longer put it on the apples of my cheek. I put, I, like, I, I put it going up so that my face has more dimension to it when I smile. So it's not just flat and like my cheeks just look rosy just because I put it right there. But yeah, that's basically how I do my blush. So going through my brush, I'm just gonna go lightly over everything just to make sure everything blends well together. Because the only thing like that's worse is like getting outside and your makeup 
is not like blended and it just looks choppy like that is not the way we trying to go i'm gonna take um my natural finish setting spray from wet and wild this is the photo finish and just spray all over my face Woo, that done strong <coughs> shoot okay i need a camera to focus <coughs> i'm good y'all i'm good <coughs> that is the strongest spray ever <coughs> i need to get a fan you guys i just had the cutest idea my um if you don't know my mom has freckles um so i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna try to mimic that so i'm gonna use my eyebrow pencil to kind of mim mimic a, some like mini freckles I do have a couple, however, they're not as prominent as my mom. Uh, you know, I wish I had some, some more of her freckles. She has like a full face, and I don't want that many, but yeah, I think it would just be cool and different for me to try to do freckles. So yeah, we're going to see how this turns out. So, it is time to do our eyeshadow. So, I'm going to be going in with this nude LA Colors palette. I'm going to be taking, we're going to go in the crease with this color right here. Um, hopefully, it's not too dark. I will be so mad if it is. But, like I said, we're just going in the crease. I'm just going to put a little bit and see how it looks. Lightly stroke it on there. I don't want to overdo it. I would be so mad if I mess up my makeup and it looks so good. Okay, so it's, it's a tad bit dark. I'm going to leave it like that. I don't want to put too much. I might try to do a cut crease. Got to up my makeup game a little bit. Just a little, a little bit. But, um... Yeah, that's good. And then I'm gonna go in with this color on my lid. It's like a grayish kind of color, I think. It has glitter in it though. And I'm just gonna go all over my lid with it. I'm just gonna, maybe I like tap it on there. I feel like tapping is better than like doing it the other way okay guys so now i'm gonna try and go in and do a cut crease this is the first time i'm ever trying this i'm gonna be trying it on camera with y'all so if i mess up do not come for me so i'm just gonna put a little bit it's a little too light i'm just gonna put a little bit right there They're not too bad, y'all. Not too, not too bad. Not too shabby. I'm feeling it. Alright, guys. So, we're getting to the end. I'm about to go ahead and add my highlighter. I like to add my highlighter with my finger. And I just like to pat it on so that I can precisely put it in the place that I want it. And just like that, you see that the highlight is popping. And I just pat this in. I just love how it looks when I do it. Like, look at my cheek itching. I did it a little bit. And then I just pat some here. And I'm also going to go in and add some under my brow bone. Just because I like to have a little shine there as well. Even though it's already kind of like... It's already kind of shining um, because of the other makeup I applied, but you know, a little glow don't never hurt nobody. And then I'm gonna go over on top of my nose. 
and then go on the tip of my nose. I like to put a lot of highlighter on my nose too. But I feel like because you do it with your finger, like you can kind of make sure you're not putting too much. And I don't know if you guys know this before, but I had went and put a little blush on top of my nose just to make it look a little like, you know, I don't know what the word is, but I feel like it's really cute when you do that. Like it makes you look like you, like you, I don't know, give you that winter cold look. But yeah, it ain't nothing but a thing. What else do I need to put highlighter? I think I'm good. I think I'm good off the highlighter now. But what we can do is go ahead and do our lips. Um, I think I might do a little something. My idea is to use my brown lip pencil and then maybe take some concealer and like fill in the middle and then go over it with either this um, clear. This is by Rimmel, Rimmel London. Um, this is their Probocalypse. It's 16 hour kiss proof, but I don't want the color that they have over here because it is like a purple color. It doesn't go with anything I would have on. So I would just be using their clear gloss on this side. But this is still a good combination. So I'm gonna go in with my lip liner. I probably should have just did gloss. This is a bit much. It's not even my birthday. I look, I look too good. I'm going to take over the birthday girl. But, you know, this is going to disappear over time anyway. So, I'll just bring my lip gloss with me. Hopefully this isn't too bright. Looks a little weird right now. But I feel like it works. And now I'm going to go back in with my lip pencil just to clean up the rim we don't want the concealer to take over and then I'm going to go in with my clear gloss I feel like this is over the edge right now it looks so good I don't know if you guys can tell how good it looks but it does looks so good this is the final makeup look um it is so cute so beat i love it i think i overdid it just a little bit i got a little ambitious and went over the top but that's okay that's okay it's, it, it, you gotta experience stuff to know when to do certain makeup looks and i feel like this still can go with the occasion just because it is for a birthday related situation so yeah, I'm not I'm not mad at myself, y'all. Like I did this. I did this. I don't need no makeup artist. I am the makeup artist. I am the hairdresser. I am the stylist. Period. Okay, I did that. Y'all better give me my props too. Okay, but anyway, we about to get into my hair. What I'm about to do with my hair. Um, I don't know actually what I'm gonna do with my hair. But, um, I just had it under the scarf, letting it compress a little bit, just because it was, like, 
the top of my head was sitting crazy y'all sitting crazy like i'm about to use my got to be um gel on my edges just to do something with them and then we can figure out what kind of style we want to do i'm feeling like i should do two ponytails because i don't really like i don't really like a hairstyle like this that is that's not cute to me oh but i did see this other hairstyle where she had like a ponytail and then like it was like a braided ponytail with a wrap so maybe something like that or we could do two ponytails let's see how that looks mm, it's giving me childish or we could leave it down I'm feeling like I feel like leaving it down it looked kind of good after I have like let it lay down and stuff because it's not frizzy or anything so I might just wear my hair like this and do my edges so I'm going to apply my gossip to my edges right here in the corner I'm not going to do too much with baby hairs just because I don't like to disturb my baby hairs too much but I'm just going to add a little gel and I like to like rub it down with my finger at first just to kind of get it laid the, one, the way I want it to lay before I use this brush because the brush is kind of hard honestly and I don't like it I don't, but it lay it lay your hair the way you need it to that's the point but I want to tie my hair back down so um, once I come back on camera I will have my chosen outfit on and then we can get into jewelry because you can't go nowhere without without adding jewelry like if you don't add no jewelry then what is you doing my arms look really strong like I don't know if I like that but it ain't up to me to, me to like my coach says she want me to look like that I gotta look like that so I can perform like that so I can get like that I don't know why I'm sitting there trying to rap but y'all don't listen to me so I'll be right back once I put my outfit on so I am back after putting my outfit on I will be showing you guys like a little walk around of what the full outfit looks like but for right now I'm gonna be showing you what the top looks like this is actually a blazer dress and it's not meant to go off to the side but I feel like it has more flair when you put it off the shoulder so I just decided to put it off the shoulder like I just made it work for how I wanted it to look so yeah I'm gonna be showing you guys a full outfit and everything put together also the shoes that would match with this and yeah this concludes the video hopefully you guys enjoyed this get ready with me make sure you like comment and subscribe to the channel so that you can see any videos that I post in the future all right guys I will see you in the next one I love y'all I'll see y'all later.